What is up guys? I just got out of seeing Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom in IMAX. I went on Thursday night. So this is basically a live reaction from the movie theater. I wanted to film there, but I was like, eh, they kind of sketched me out. But basically this film is directed by James Wan, stars Jason Momoa, um, Amber Heard, surprisingly, Patrick Wilson, and a bunch of other people. Um, I just want to get into this and talk about first one thing that I really enjoyed the first Aquaman film a lot. I thought I had, well, I had a, a great time with it. Great action, great visuals, a great score. So going into this film, I heard a lot of negative reviews. I'm like, whatever, it's the final film in the DCEU. So I'm like, just let it be good. Let me at least enjoy it. Now I have problems with this film as I did with the first film, but overall I had fun with it. I don't understand um, the excessive amount of hate with this film, but I, I had fun with it. It is on par with being as good as the first one, in my opinion. Um, maybe if I rewatch it again, it might like go down a little bit in the rating. But overall, it had great action. Jason Momoa is just one of those actors that are so charismatic. And I love the dynamic between him and Patrick Wilson's Orm character in the film. I thought the brother type like buddy cop be i really liked it and i dug it um as for black manta being the main villain i enjoyed that as well i forgot the actor's name uh yabadul or yabdul or something like abteen or something like that i he is a really phenomenal actor i liked him as black manta in the first film him returning in this one i really enjoyed him as well amber heard we all know what went on with her and johnny depp she was supposed to be not in this movie as much but yet she is in this movie a lot I, I think the film's only two hours and four minutes and the runtime fl like flies by it. Like I said, I, there's a lot of jokes in the film, comedy, stuff like that. And I really enjoyed all of it. It flew by and I had a blast with this film. The action, there's at times with the visual effects that I noticed aren't as clear as maybe the first film was. Um, that's one of my nitpicks. Overall, where my problems lie with the film is the plot of the movie with the villain of being Black Manta with the Dark Trident, um, I like all that. That's all cool. It's just with the third act being a little too Black Adam-ish, if that makes sense. It, it like, I, it's hard to explain, but they have this one main villain or this other villain that they're trying to bring back and just really reminded me of, oh, this is like kind of like Black Adam. And I'm like, eh. But overall, I, like I said... The main, all three acts, I love all the, I love seeing Nicole Kidman. I love seeing uh, or Arthur's father in the film. I forgot his name. I like seeing the family dynamic between him, Arthur, and his son now. I thought that was really cute, cool, and heartwarming. There's a little emotion in this film here and there as well. But overall, like, I, I really, I went into this film expecting a fun film. You don't go into Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom expecting the next Godfather or an Oppenheimer level type film or something like that or a Scorsese type level film. You you don't go that you I go to this film to expect fun and I got that. And overall it sucks that the DCU ended. You guys know I was basically a big fan of it, but overall I really really enjoyed this film. I got I got some complaints mainly with the storytelling with the other villain that's in the film but overall I like I said I enjoyed it overall I keep saying overall but that's it for the DCEU I'm actually going to be doing a ranked video right after this but the DCEU has come to an end I got to give Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom I forgot what I rated the first film but it's on par with it maybe I prefer the first one a little bit more so that's why I'm going to give Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom in eight out of ten. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. That's what I went into this film expecting. I thought it was going to be a little too underwhelming at times because of with all the reviews and like bashing it. But I had fun. And go see this movie. It's a nice little December flick to go see, enjoy, have fun with the family, anything like that. Just to turn off your brain and just enjoy. A uh, cool superhero film with Jason Momoa. I love Jason Momoa. Hopefully he gets a new character in the new DC universe coming out, but we'll have to see. But guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.